So let's talk about BET Presents the Encore. That's your show that's on right now. Um, what inspired that show? I created that show seven years ago. Okay. Um, because I have a passion for girl groups. I grew up listening to TLC, Escape, SWV. You know, I was this boy who was just obsessed with girl groups. So can you imagine the first day I met Candy Burris when she decided to do Atlanta Housewives? I was such a groupie to Candy, and I thought Candy did not like me when I first met her. Mm -hmm. um, because if you ever meet Candy, she's not jovial, because she's, you know, she's kind of like, hey. Like, and yeah. you know, all the girls used to give me like, yes, Carlos, and Candy was like, hi. And I was like, oh my God, Candy hates me. And, and, and she's like my favorite member out of Escape. So a few months later, I had to do her interview, and she said the magic word to me after the interview. Carlos, let's go gossip. And I was like, baby, you got me. So I've always been a fan of girl groups. I created the show seven years ago because I felt that girl groups was a missing element in music. Mm -hmm. And long story short, I contacted Keely, Shamari. Yes, I have her before Housewives. Uh, Felicia Fowler from Cherish. I have Melody Thornton from the Pussycat Dolls. Um, Farrah from Destiny's Child. I, I, I had all this. So we went through two networks. And, and now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me interrupt. So those women you just listed, that's, <laughs> that was the first round of your, you pitching the show. That was the original cast. Okay, hold on. Who was the original cast again? Shamari, Keely, Felicia Fallon, Melody Thornton, Sarah Franklin, and D. Woods. And D oh, I like D. Woods too. Okay, okay, continue, continue. So we went through two different networks. Long story short, the way it works in my business is you pitch a show, you shoot a pilot, and it's at the network's mercy whether or not they want to pick it up. Okay. Um, unfortunately, at that time, they did not pick it up. And long story short, um, I never gave up on this. I love girl groups. <laughs> I love these girls. And I never wanted to give up on this show. So I'm happy that BET decided to pick it up. Um, why BET? Or do you, I'll let you answer that. BET has a new executive vice president of Unscripted named Tiffany Williams. She's going to kill me because she, she's very private. Mm -hmm. um, but she is the one who saw um the pilot and she was like this show is dope and i was like i know but do you want it and we thought bet was the best home because bet has launched the careers of black artists mm -hmm. and as somebody whose first job in television was at bet i wanted to give back to a network that has propelled my career and when you think about black music, when you think about girl groups, like they yeah. broke every girl group on this show, BT has had a hand in breaking them as artists. And yeah. I thought it was a great sort of like thank you to BET to give them this show. And like Funky Dineva said in his review last week, um, BET now has a show that's unscripted that really is the talk of the town. And I'm happy to be a part of that. Okay, cool.